in the news. The Pentecostal bishops of Forum of the 19 Northern States has condemned the escalating violence in the southern Kaduna area, the wanton killings of residents and the destruction of property by unknown gunmen. The Forum of Bishops spoke to newsmen in Abuja calling on the federal government to do more in protecting affected communities, saying enough is enough. And the chairperson of the Forum, Bishop John Praise, commended the government for its efforts so far, but maintained that the effort is clearly not enough and not yielding desired results. Bishop Praise also tasked the security agency to live up to their billing and ensure perpetrators of the attacks are dealt with. At the last count, Several communities have been attacked by armed hearts men, alleged to be of Fulani extraction, while many have been killed and rendered homeless. At this press conference, it's not to blame the government outrightly, having noted its repeated claim of working tirelessly to arrest the ugly development. Though it is lamentable that no arrest and prosecution have been recorded to date of the real perpetrators. We are using this public platform to join our, our voices to the patriotic cries of concerned citizens and groups nationally and internationally, especially the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN led by the able leadership of Reverend Dr. Samson Ayokunle and the Southern Karuna People's Union, Sukapo, to strongly call on President Muhammadu Buhari and the Governor of Kaduna State and other relevant government functionaries at various levels to do more and be seen to be doing everything humanly and materially possible to bring lasting succor to the the spoiled people. So what the government needs to do is to step up in their game. If there is a need to change the service chase as some people suggest, or any other step they, could, they can take to improve on the security network of the country, they should do that and do that quickly. People are becoming very desperate. We are closer to the people than any other person. People are becoming very, very desperate all across the nation. These issues are getting to a point that this notion is boiling, to a point that there will be a lot of issues that we cannot contend with. I suggest that the government should arrange a Truth and Reconciliation Committee. We have representatives at the National Assembly, yet all of these things are happening. And I want us to understand very clearly that this issue is not just a matter of the federal government alone. We have scheme issues in some other states, like we have the Tijukun crisis in Benue State going on right now. If the government does not show that it has a responsibility to cater for the citizens, it is right for the citizens to begin to suspect that the government are complicit to what they are going through. Right now, on a daily basis, people are killed. The killing happening in southern Kaduna, where I come from, suggests that we don't have a government. The killing fields have not been visited officially by the government that be, whether at the federal level or at the state level, to give the people that are being killed confidence that they have a government. I believe that something needs to be done. And on this matter, we have joining us from Kaduna, the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, the Kaduna chapter, Reverend Joseph Hayab. Good to have you, uh, Reverend Hayab. Thank you very much. Good morning. And good morning to you too. Uh, now, you are in Kaduna, and Kaduna is a state that has seen constant killings of citizens. What do you make of the stance of the Catholic bishops on the need you know, for Nigerians to defend themselves? Clearly, in their words, they say, defend yourselves. It's not a position that we have seen religious leaders uh, take most of the time. What's your thought? I go with the Catholic bishops 100%. The truth about it is that our security have failed us. The government that we elected have also failed us. What is happening today is that lives have been lost, people have been killed, 
People no longer live in their homes. People have been in IDP camps. And what you hear is government trying to give excuses. Government trying to even manipulate the story. Government trying to project, uh, justify why they kill it. I have always said this, that killing is killing. When human beings are killed, you talk about the killing. You don't justify why the killers are acting. Because for a government to come out and say that the killing is reprisal shows that it's an irresponsible government. Mm -hmm. There is no law in Nigeria that permits you that if someone offends you, then you should carry dagger and go and kill him to show that you are angry. But our law permits that you report him to the police or security agencies, and then they take him to court. And if he is found guilty, there are charges for that. The government is doing nothing and just playing lip services, speaking even for criminals, speaking for bandits, speaking for people who are being killed. I've listened severally to some television conversation. Even army spoke people. Probably they are afraid of the political power that be. And what are speaking favorable in that manner? If we cannot have a country where some people will go after citizens, kill citizens, and the nation government is justifying why they are doing it. Mm. I think that is not fair. So I agree with the Catholic bishops that if government cannot protect us, the best thing we do is to protect ourselves. But we don't want that. We prefer government should protect us because our constitution empowers government to protect lives and properties of our citizens. Mm -hmm. But now we are having a situation where the person who's supposed to protect us has even now become like a supporter of the one who is killing us. So if we have nowhere to run to, we have to protect ourselves. But, but if I may ask you... Every Nigeria knows that self-defense is a natural thing. Self-defense is constitutionally allowed. What I will not encourage Christians to do is to carry dagger and follow anybody. No. But with, if you are sleeping in your house and any evil person comes in to destroy you, destroy your family, you don't need to begin to wait for a government because government seems not to be doing what she's supposed to do. If, if I may add to, to the question that you just responded to, in, in Kaduna, what has happened to citizens who have tried to defend themselves in the past? Or haven't you had occasions where citizens have tried to uh, help themselves out, for lack of a better word? The truth about it is that we have always preached against self-help. But we are taking this position now because I can't, no one can give me a reference to a particular time we ever ask citizens to defend themselves. We are taking this position now because we have trusted government, believe in government, patiently wait on government, patiently wait on those who are standing with the responsibility of securing us and they are not securing us. That's why we are taking this measure. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, nobody in this world has a monopoly of evil or monopoly of violence. So if someone is bringing violence to you every day and you are waiting for government to secure you government to do something about him and government do not do then you have no option than to tell him that you are not just a coward mm. because that is probably the language he understands those people who are coming to kill our fellow brothers and sisters are human beings they are not spirit and actually our governor has confessed severally that he knows them because he has even sent them money you don't give money to ghosts you give money to human beings. You give money to people you know. So if those people exist and government is not doing anything, I want to still repeat, I agree with the Catholic bishops that Nigerians, especially Southern Kaduna people, should come out and defend themselves or else they will be wiped out in the face of the act and someone will be given excuses for wiping them out. Well, 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 but I want to add to that, that if you're saying, yes, defend yourselves, how do you match up? How do you do that when uh, the forces that you're fighting against, if you like, have more training, more weapons or more e equipment? How do you do that? What does that mean exactly? You see, if these forces were people that you can see, then you will go and dialogue with them. You will go and tell them that, sorry, what have I done wrong to you? Please, I'm sorry. But these are not forces because this is where one of the, one of the statements going on around that this is hardest farmers conflict. Some of us are laughing at it. It is not a farmers hardest conflict. Criminals are killing citizens. You don't even know them. The only people who have admit to know them are government. And that is why we are saying government do something. But if you don't do something, then you don't have an option than to protect yourself. You are talking about how prepared. It's not about how prepared. When I'm working with my wife, my loving family, and an enemy comes to injure them, 
Do I need to start looking for one DPO or one governor or one member of the representative to stop me or to show me what to do to the man who wants to cause my family harm? I will do something as a responsible part father. And that's what we are saying. As responsible people, we have fallen our arms, we have waited, we have trusted, we have called, we have cried. But instead of our cry being heard, Sometimes we hear even those who are supposed to protect us are going around twisting the story, writing stories that even a layman, a blind man, will not believe it. Mm. I am a peace advocate. I have been working for over two decades in the area of peace. I have never seen lack of patriotism in the part of leadership the way it is now in my state mm. and in my country. And lastly, before I let you go, uh, Reverend, how, how are the Christians in Kaduna receiving this message of saying, yes, you've been praying, but it is time to defend yourself? Yeah, well, you see, people have always taken advantage of our Bible teaching to cheat us. Because the Bible says, if anybody slaps you on this cheek, turn the other cheek. Unfortunately, they do not understand that the Bible, when all the cheeks have been slapped, you don't have another cheek to, to turn to. The Bible also teaches us about extreme patience, and we have extremely been patient with all persecution. So once you have pushed a man who has loved you, who has shown you solidarity, who has shown you concern, who has shown you that he is with you, when you push him to the world, he has no option than to find a way out. You know, there is this line of story that sometimes people will go out and lie that, no, the Christian community in Kaduna State are not happy because it's a Muslim governor. And I say, this is laughable. McCarthy was a Muslim governor. We work with him to restore peace in Kaduna State. Namadi was a Muslim governor. We work with him to restore peace in Kaduna State. Muqtar Yero was a Muslim governor. We work with him to restore peace. So it is not about his religion. It's about attitude. Hmm. Right. Thank you so very much, Reverend, uh, uh, Reverend thank you too, for your time. Uh, and do me. keep safe out there also. I appreciate this. Thank you.